Let's take a look at pie charts. Pie charts are quite easy to understand. Uh, it looks like a pie or a pizza cut into various slices and we can work out some fairly basic information just by uh, looking at it. So for example, you could be asked here, um, well, let's say that this pie chart represented students telling you what their favorite subjects were. So you could say, which subject was the most popular? Well, the most popular subject was the one that was picked by the most students. The most popular subject would be the one that occupies the greatest uh, area of the pie chart. And we can see that the PE section here is much bigger than every or all the other um, all the other subjects. So therefore, PE was the most popular. Can we work out after PE which was the second most popular? It's hard to say because we don't have any values, but it would be either science or maths. We don't really know, know the size of this angle, but we can definitely say that the least popular is history because that is the smallest slice of the pie chart there. We can also, from some basic information, we know that the maths slice is 60 degrees. Now, the full pie is obviously 360 degrees. There are 360 degrees in a circle. So out of the full 360, 60 degrees correspond to maths. And we can simplify this fraction. So what we can say is that, well, 60 360ths of the school population uh, chose maths as their favorite subject, but that's not a great fraction because we've got a very high bottom number, but we can simplify this fraction. First of all, if we chop off the zeros, we can take that down to 6 36ths. So already the fraction sounds a bit better. 6 36ths of, of the school chose maths as their favorite subject, but we can simplify this a bit more. Both 6 and 36 are in the six times table. So let's divide both top and bottom by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 36 divided by 6 is 6. So from this information, we can say that one sixth of the school or the year group or whatever the um, data um, source is, a sixth of it said that maths was their favorite subject. Why? Because 60 degrees is one sixth of 360, 360 degrees being the whole pie. Now, drawing pie charts, let's say we wanted to draw a pie chart that showed um, Again, let's, let's keep it simple, students' favorite subject. So first of all, how many students are we dealing with in total? So 65 for geography, 35 for history, and 20 for religious studies. So there is 120 students in total. So what we want to work out is what fraction said religious studies was their favorite uh, subject. So that would be 20 120ths. Now that can be simplified to 2 twelfths and that can be simplified to one sixth. Now the full pie has got to be 360 degrees. So 360 degrees represents the 420 students. So if one sixth of them said RE was their favorite, then well, what is one sixth of 360? That corresponds to 360 divided by six, which is a 60 degree slice. For history, it's 35 out of 120. Now, we don't actually need to simplify the fraction. We didn't need to simplify this one, really. What we can do, instead of going back to the previous one, one sixth, one sixth is the same as two twelfths, is the same as 20 one hundred twentieths. We worked out what one sixth of 360 was, but we could have worked out what two twelfths of 360 was, or we could have worked out what 20 one hundred twentieths of 200, 360 is. So what is 20 120ths of 360 degrees? And here we've just got a fraction of an amount. Remember for a fraction of, a, of an amount, you take your total, you divide it by the number on the bottom, and then you multiply by the number on the top. And guess what? 360 divided by 120 times 20 is 60. So we can do exactly the same thing here. We want to work out three, 35 120ths of the total pi, which is 360 degrees. Take the total 360, divide by the number on the bottom, which is 120, and multiply by 35, we get 105. So this should be 
a 105 degree slice. And for geography, we want to work out 65 one hundred twentieths of 360. Again, why is it 120? Because it's 65 out of the total of 120 students. Take our total, 360 degrees. Divide it by 120, multiply by 65. That corresponds to 195 degrees. And if we add these up, guess what these add up to? They add up to 360 degrees. Now, all we need to do is uh, draw a circle, make sure we've got the center point uh, marked in, draw a line from here to anywhere on the circumference so that we've just got one line to get us started. Then we're gonna draw a 60 degree slice using our protractor and then using this line, work out a 105 degree slice and then by default, the final one should be 195. And then you should either label it, label each slice or do a color code. Maybe over here, have a little code where gray is RE and blue is geography, orange is history. And uh, you you don't always have to, but you you can put in the um, the angles as well. You, I would say put in the angles just to be on the safe side, but with this pie chart, it's fairly obvious that geography, uh, we don't need to know we, we can clearly see that the blue section is bigger than history. We don't need to compare 195 to 105. And also we know that 105 uh, is, well, sorry, the history section is bigger than the RE section. We can just go on the amount of area that is occupied. We, we can tell that without having the figures, but you can put the figures in as well.